So what next? Uh, we are looking at coming out with ADAT by end of this calendar year. Uh, we are looking at it being in compliance for international as well because in days IFRS there are a few gaps. IFRS there have been amendments. We have not incorporated it within NDAs. So we will try and capture that as well and make it you know available for IFRS reporting, US GAAP reporting, if NFU have group reporting requirements that also come in. We are looking at bringing in elements of data analytics and machine learning. Again, uh, this is trying to use a little bit of AI and other aspects to be more explorative. So help you identify whether there where the exceptions could lie. So your testing is focused more on exceptions. Uh, we are also looking at trying to do it specific to account balances, not making it generic uh, giving dashboards, but trying to figure out what kind of insights that analytics can actually do. Uh, what we are also trying to do is we have developed and are working on developing an author audit methodology manual, which will kind of be probably be available by end of the financial year, by March, uh, which is going to be consistent with the features that we are building within ADAT as a tool as well. So one of the requirements on the AQMM, if uh, people have gone through, is a requirement to have a detailed audit manual, a requirement to have templates, uh, standard formats, uh, guidances that are made available to all staff. So we're looking at getting those two also, which will be consistent with how we've developed these guidances. So these will try and cover how to actually practically apply all of these. So that's going to come in as our next by March 24 is our date. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to achieve it. So what is the pricing? I know we've said in the video that how we've gone about coming to the pricing. We've looked at the price of Azure, the price of maintenance, uh, the cost of our content that we've developed. So this is what you know is the kind of the fee structure we are giving. Palaji, you want to just put in some thoughts on the fee structure? Uh, so in the fee structure, we believe commercials of True and Fire comes only in this line. Okay, other lines are practically recoveries of various costs which we are incurring. Okay, for example, this three lakhs fee can come down based on the number of users which is captured, number of audit firms which is captured, because we are we don't know what what we expect in the marketplace. So today, when I go to an investor to raise funds, he is saying, okay, how many audit firms will subscribe to you? I say I don't know. <laughs> we are very convinced about the product, but how does the how does the audit firm side look at it? We don't know. So therefore, we said we don't know the number. So that is the unpredictability for me. So if the number of subscribers increase, this number will keep coming down. Okay, that's the first point. Second point is we have tried to stagger the fees into two models. One is an annual fee and one is a monthly fee because some firms came back and said, so Balaji, we are doing a lot of internal audits also. But September month, we use our internal audit staff also to do statutory audit because the deadline is there. Okay. So how do we pay for internal audit person? Because that person is going to work with me only for one month in statutory audit. After that, he'll go off to internal audit. So we said, okay, then for those people, you go through monthly fees. We don't take annual fee. So then you pay only 1,800 or whatever level you are in, and that's all. You don't pay the 18,000. So we have tried to bring in some flexibility on the fees for audit firms to uh, look at in terms of what they want to do. And the bigger thing what we are looking to do is, you know, my firm belief is adoption of ADOC should be encouraged by the partners but demanded by the staff. That is my belief. Okay? Keeping that belief in mind, what we are looking to do is we want to offer, this is a team discussion which you have had and we all agreed, is that we will offer ADOC free of cost for first to 30 days. You can onboard up to 12 users and perform up to three engagements in the 30 days. Okay, this is for you to experience ADOC before you fully subscribe to it, so that it gives you a reasonable time to understand. And some number of people are also getting to understand what is there in uh, ADOC. Then after that, you get into a subscription sort of a model. That's what we are looking to offer. And this is not an offer for first come first serve basis. Any audit firm, whoever is onboarding with us, want to onboard with us, we'll give this one month free continuously. That means you come to me in January and say that I want to use ADOC, but I want to test it once. I'll give you 30 days free. If you come to me in July, I'll say 30 days free from July. So the 30 days is always available. It's not that it is available only for the first three months. It is available in the journey of true and fair, so long as true and fair survives. Okay, that is what we are looking to commit ourselves to. Uh, 